when one actually grows, that means that you're eliminating something. So in order to grow, in order to move forward, you have to look at your space and your energy right now and say, what can I let go of? Because that it, you have to, there has to be some void filled, okay? And in this game that we're playing, the game of life, what voids do you need to fill? Because in order to fill that void, you must eliminate something. Hey, yo, I am Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in my name. You are listening to the Stacey A. Cross Show. Super happy to be here with you today, Thursday. Beautiful day, 12-14, 2018. It's almost a new year. And one thing that happens during this period, other than the holidays and everybody going crazy in Target and on, on, on Amazon, is that you start to reflect at your year, your previous year, 2018, you, you begin to reflect. Some people didn't hit their goals, and that's okay. You know, um, you, you, you didn't quite do what you needed to do this year. That's okay. Hey, I'm the only one that's going to say, hey, listen, that's okay, as long as that's recognized and acknowledged, okay? Then we could actually do something about it. But the biggest part of looking backwards and reflecting and saying, oh, you know what? There's some things I need to focus on here is actually to change your level of awareness and to say, okay, how can I move up in consciousness? How can I raise my vibrations? Remaining positive and having a positive outlook changes your vibration. So I've noticed lately when I'm driving on the road, and I told this to Theo um, the other day, is that I notice people are wild around me. And I'm, it's, it's almost like I'm looking for the wildness. It's like I'm out there um, seeing the, the, the wildness and it's affecting me in some way, shape or form. And it's changing my mood on the road to greatness. <laughs> so I've always recognized that. So, you know, just to give you an example, I was riding to Walmart and uh, there's this gentleman or this car behind me and they blew their horn honk. And I'm like, but there's no one really around. So I'm like, maybe they know me. What, why would they blow their horn in such a manner? And I'm looking in my rear view mirror and I'm like, man, we're going at a good speed. It's not like, you know, I'm driving slow or something. We're going at a good speed. Then he did again. Honk. And I'm like, wait, what the is going on here? So I'm driving, I'm cruising, and I'm not going to speed up for no one, but I might slow down for someone. <laughs> I'm just trying to look in the rearview mirror. And then, so I made the left, and, you know, he was going straight, and he blew it again. Oh, and this time he kept it long, and he's speeding up, and he's gone. So obviously I was impeding him from speeding. But the only thing that I'm looking at at, at that was the first thing I recognized was why is this happening, Okay. You know, out of nowhere, why this guy behind me now, after I started recognizing that people are wild and weird and I'm having a road problem right now. I get in my car, it's like automatic, like somebody's either tailgating or it's just weird. And I, I wanted to kind of recognize it. I brought it up into consciousness and I was like, okay, well, what's going on? And obviously to me, because, you know, I'm operating from another state of mind. I'm not operating... At least I'm not trying to operate off the physical. I'm, you know, I'm. I want to operate from a state of consciousness and say, okay, well, what kind of test is this going on? Because it was, and I blew my horn back. See, that's the problem there. I blew my horn back when he went around and he blew it long and he sped off. I was blowing my horn back, and I always hate that. I hate the fact that it gets me to the point where I'm actually involved in the bullshit. Okay, so that was something I recognize. And what I did today was really enhance the clarity of what's happening around me because it's happening around me because I'm allowing it from the inside to happen. So what's going on within me? So when you want to grow, you have to take the stock of what is going on within me right now that may be impeding my growth, that may be blocking my growth. Okay. Um, one thing that I did come up and find, and, uh, you know, maybe later on down the line, I'll let you know exactly how that clearing that happens. But 
for just this time's sake, I want to give you some tips to raise your consciousness and, and shift your vibrations and, and be okay with letting things go. So the first thing is the books that are on your shelf, like the books are on my shelf. Some of them, I'm like, they're really kind of, they're holding energy within them, right? Whose book do you have on your shelf? <laughs> you think it's a joke. See, people think this is a joke. Whose book on your shelf? Whose book is on your shelf? That doesn't even par with you. That doesn't connect with you. Maybe it was a gift. See, a lot of people gift things and they send some crazy ass energy. So one thing I found out is a lot of envy. There's a lot of envy around me. There's a lot of envy and jealousy, but it's not just around me. What is in me? That's the question I want you to ask. What feelings are you getting that's projecting outwardly in your physical plane that's happening inside of you? Because we have to we have to negate that. As I said that, I remember that there's a book on my shelf that I need to get rid of. And I'm going to hold on. I can't even I can't even finish this thing without pulling it down from the shelf and getting it out of here. These two books are out of here. Okay. You remember that time in, in history where they were uh, burning all the books? And it was like the biggest crime ever. This, these are getting thrown out today. This is gone. Uh, so that's another thing is, okay, let's clean up our environment, like our immediate environment. Wash your clothes. Wash your sheets. Get rid of old clothing that's in, the, that's in your closet you don't use anymore. Everything has an energy tied to it. And once you recognize that there's something that's tied to it or maybe a feeling that's tied to it, get rid of it. You don't need it anymore. You have to be okay with letting things go as I am. So let me, let me answer this thing here. This is an investor. Wow. Claimed already. I got this uh, lead program that comes through my phone, so it hits me up every time a lead calls through. This is real estate stuff, and uh, that was claimed already. Somebody claimed that lead. Bro, damn, that was fast. So then you go around and you start looking at your thoughts, all right? So you, you, you're cleaning up your physical environment, clean the bathroom, clean yourself, okay? Get rid of old clothes, get rid of these energy markers. You know, a lot of people keep... Things that, that they think means a lot to them, but really it has no value other than it's bringing your energy down. Every time you look at it, it's bringing your energy down. If, if even it's a photo, all right, it's bringing the energy down. And this is some real stuff no one's going to talk about, okay? I'm, I'm here to share with you how to raise your vibration and how to get uncomfortable in thought and how to, and how to keep pushing forward, man. I'm not going to keep saying increase, increase, buy more books, Okay, what could you actually either utilize or let go of? Please, that's, that's step number one. Then we got to go into our thoughts and what, are, what our thoughts are saying. Okay, what are our thoughts doing? What, what are we thinking on a daily basis? Some thoughts that you're thinking on a daily basis has, is not your own thought. It's coming from somewhere, something, some other time, some place. Maybe it's a thought from the past that doesn't belong here anymore and is staying in your head rent free. How do you like that? They're not paying rent to be in your head. So why are they there? So we got to now take a note of these thoughts. I can't do this. I, you know, I'm to this. I'm that. I'm that. All these negative thoughts that keep coming back perennially. That's one thing. So I look at, took a stock of my thoughts. What am I thinking? In fact, I just started thinking that everybody's weird on the road. And what do I get on the road? Weirdos. See, sometimes the law of attraction, it works in reverse. Some things that you are like, man, I, I really don't want. You're getting in return. So you are getting all the things that you don't want. And that's law of attraction in reverse, man. I want to clean the slate. I want to clear the slate. I want to be connected. I want to raise my vibration, spirituality. I want to, I want to go straight to the source. 
I don't have any time to be listening to A, B, C, D, E, F. And I don't care, okay? Either way, what you think. And that was the problem with me before because I always kind of, you know, even though I say it, I don't care. I did care because obviously I wouldn't be thinking these thoughts. So you have to be real with yourself. So your environment, your thoughts, and then what you are saying to yourself outwardly and to other people. One thing that I put on Facebook today was stop telling people your goals, man. That has been the number one thing that has held you back is you sharing with everyone and everywhere every time your goal. Some cat hit me up on Twitter and said, hey, what's new, Stacy?" I said, lots is new. And then he said, well, let's hear about it. How about we don't hear about it? You know, how about we don't hear about it? And I've had an open book on my Comfort Killers website since 2000. That's all gone now. But I had an open book where I shared everything about what I was doing, when I was doing it, what I'm doing next, how I'm contacting these people, how I'm doing. And and I realized that people use that. And they add an energy of envy and jealousy to it. So that's what I've been seeing because it's been, it's been coming back to me. So the reason why I want to uh, raise your vibration and raise your energy is because to operate out of a higher vibration, you're operating on a higher plane. You're not really tied down to the stupidness of the 3D world. Is this a table? Is this a mic? We don't care, bro. Okay. Uh, your higher your higher being does not care what this is. Your higher being doesn't care if the eagles won or the eagles lost. Humans, we, 3D, we care about that stuff. We care to be political, uh, you know, about this. We want to say our opinion about this one, say our opinion about that. You know what's so real, you know what's really funny is that you remember that station that I was listening to the other day was uh, one of the sports stations in Philly, and they were talking about all the players, and I explained about that. But here's the thing. The biggest point to make is that they're not the ones playing the game. <laughs> they're just commenting and speculating on the game. You have no right. Now, if you're doing it for entertainment purposes, I get it. That's your whole deal, whatever. But, like, we're really commenting on the players of the game. We are speculating on who is better. You're not better. You're sitting right there, okay? That's number one. Number two is, like I said, that well, actually, that's the third thing. But number two is, in that sphere, in that, in that circulum, curriculum, is we have to be very careful with what we say amongst people and the goals and we're telling our things and we are, we're always trying to up one another. Oh, well, you're doing that? I'm doing this. Oh, you're doing this thing? Oh, I'm doing that. It's stupid. It's no call for and you're not going to grow because you're, you're, you're concerned about the little things, okay? You're concerned about the little things. I got to get these books out of here. They're on my desk right now. I just got to, these things got to get flushed down the toilet, man. I'm going to rip the page. I'm going to burn the books. I'm going to burn the books. Um, so books does carry energy. And this is all about energy protection and energy elevation. Okay. Because we're going into the new year now. We're going into 2019 and just on my clock is 222, man. That's look up that number, 222. Um, so we're doing all these things for what? So we could chit chat about it. So we could show off. But nah, nah, we're doing it to enhance our lives. I sent out an email today to the entire the Power Blast email Thursdays. I checked and seen how many people on my email list opens up when and where and what date. And Thursday was the best date for me to send email. So if you got that, shout yourselves out. This episode is sponsored by Source. This episode is sponsored by Source, and it could be sponsored by you. You want to show your support? Pull out your Cash App. Cash App, money sign, dollar sign, Stacey A. Cross. Send me your support, and I appreciate that. So we're going to move on. Uh, So I've given you you some, some practical things today, how to raise your energy, raise your vibrations. But really, the most important thing that you could do is stay on that path. So every day, take that time. To raise your vibration. 
to smile, smile at yourself, to look in the mirror, know who you are. You're not just a label, right? And you're not just one side versus the other side. You're not just a number. You're not just the number on your friends list on Facebook or Instagram. You're not none of these things. You're bigger than these things. You're better than these things. So you start operating from that standpoint. And baby, what you've got is neutrality. I am Stacey A. Cross and there is no E in my name. Peace.